Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Fast Item Editor. So this is a really cool plugin which you can see in my hand in action. So I've customized this item with a colored name tag, colored lore, enchantments, unbreakability, and there's a few other things as well. Now if we do forward slash FIE help, that's going to show us all the commands. And then you can actually do FIE set language to French, for example, and that will change it in game and then obviously you can go back to English like so. Now what we're going to do is for slash FIE to bring up the customizing GUI. Now in here you can see each item that I've edited and then you can go ahead and try it for yourself. So with this gold sword we're going to edit the name. Now in here you can type whatever you want. You can use color codes and format codes so let's make it look nice and jazzy and we're going to use gold, bold and italics for this one and then let's see what it looks like. Click on it and then it will update and be nice and colorful and there it is, gold sword in gold and yellow. Now as you can see in chat you can also do this via command. So we could do forward slash FIE set law and then the way we do this is type whatever you want followed by a semicolon to denote a new line. So we could do line one, line two, semicolon and continue like this with however many lines you want. So let's do one more and then hit enter, see what it looks like. We can see we have four different lines. The last two I didn't add color codes, which is why it's purple, but that is how you would add a new law via a command. You could obviously click the button in the GUI if you wanted to, uh, which would do practically the same thing like this, and then you can hit cancel if you don't want to do that. The enchantments page is really awesome. You can see it lists all of the enchantments and then down at the bottom you can select what level you want. So all of these are one at the moment, however you can plus one if you want. And then you could plus 10 or go up to the max level which is 255 which is pretty crazy and put on some very very ridiculous enchantments for your items. Now if we go back into the GUI there's a couple more things. So there's item flags. Now this can do a variety of things such as hiding enchantments. So hide underscore enchantments. And then now they are gone. It looks much much cleaner and you can hide your powerful enchantments. So I just looked these up online and you can see there's a variety of different flags you can use for your items. So just copy and paste any of those. You can hit unbreakable to get rid of any durability effects. And then close the GUI and we have a nice little weapon. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to 1.20, it's a relatively new plugin. If we scroll down we can see all of the commands that we used in game and remember to keep that item in your hand when you do these. And then we have the only permission that you require, so make sure you give that to admins. And then we got a couple pictures showing what it looks like in game. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But well, that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.